Hello everybody, TGL here, back with another Brawlhalla guide, and today, we're gonna be doing Orb. I almost said Reino, but <laughs> this isn't just for Reino, it's just Orb in general. But uh, yeah, this weapon's pretty fun. I didn't expect it to be this fun when I started learning it, but it, it's, it's pretty dang fun. Uh, this is a beginner's guide, so if you've been playing Orb for a while, this probably isn't for you, but you might learn something new anyways, so stick around. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go over is approach options on orb. I always go over these first because they're just the most important thing to know about a weapon. If you don't know how to approach, you can't do any damage. Simple as that. Uh, but the best ways to approach with this weapon are side air. Just jump, uh, like a dash jump, fast fall, side air. Pretty simple. You can do the same thing with uh, down air, but you also don't have to fast fall it. Just depends on how you like to approach. Uh, you can also do side light. Pretty simple, sets up into uh, nice little strings and stuff like that. Uh, you can also do D light, pretty simple as well. Kind of like the side light, uh, except it doesn't really set up into things as well. But you can do stuff like that. It, it, they're both, they're all pretty solid options. I can't lie. Uh, down air, you can lead into stuff like this. Uh, with orb, its approach options are very good, and it can get a lot out of a little. So this this weapon uh, just kind of thrives on just being able to get in deal that chip damage, and then get out. Uh, that's just how I play it. There obviously are different ways to play it, but the way I found most effective, get that chip damage, get those big little combos going, and just kind of get out of there. All right, next thing we're going to go over is those good combos that you need to know in order to play this weapon effectively. Uh, the ones I find the best, the most important, side lights air. Side lights air, side lights air, side lights air. You need side lights air. You need to at least know how to do it. It's not very hard. Just side light, jump into a air. Uh, you can hit it true. For some reason, it's difficult to do, or at least for me. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just slow. But uh, yeah, you can definitely hit it true. Done it before. Uh, I'm just gonna keep throwing these out until I do it. Okay, or not. Maybe the game just doesn't want me to hit side lights there. Uh, okay, well, it can be true. Trust me. But even if it isn't true, there we go. But even if it isn't true, you can get it like one frame, two frames. It's it's pretty good. All right, there you go. Uh, I think you just have to be standing back a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a problem. Because if you're too close, it won't hit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just make sure you space it properly. Uh, next thing, D-Light and Light and D-Light Nair. I feel like D-Light is definitely the wild card move uh, on this weapon. Because it kind of just... It works weird, I should say. Because it sends at different angles depending on where you hit it. Which is so weird. Uh, especially off stage, that's where it gets the weirdest because it has hitboxes on top of it and below it that hit at different angles depending on where you hit it at. So this wep uh, this weapon, this move is very weird and probably one of the harder parts of, uh, of Orb is that you're just trying to learn those little things, those little nuances. Uh, same with down air, you're going to have to learn how to get those good bounces, how to use it effectively in neutral, stuff like that. Uh, but back to the combos, we got the side light stare. It can lead into a bunch of different stuff like that. Same thing with the uh, D-Light and light It can kind of lead into stuff. Uh, <laughs> that was a very good demonstration, but it can definitely lead into stuff like that. That's pretty good. Uh, side light D-Light is also good. Uh, it's just kind of as like a combo tool. Or not a combo tool, I should say. Uh, a string tool. Because you can set up into stuff like that. Uh, you can hit the actual side light D-Light true, but the stuff after it will definitely not be true. But... You can get some huge stuff going out of that uh, side light, D light. I don't know why I keep going for that. Uh, uh, the <sighs> words are escaping me right now. The end light. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I keep going for the end light. That's probably one of the worst options, but you can go for stuff like that. Uh, it won't work on the bot because the bot always jumps after like literally everything. But you can try stuff. You can just get some decent strings out of it, honestly. Like the best ways to go with orb is just kind of get chip damage. I said that in the last part. And it's very obvious looking at these important combos that chip damage is your friend because you have so many true combos that do a decent amount of damage and a bunch of string setups and all this good stuff. And it's just like, you're, you're going to want to abuse that a little bit <laughs> when you're playing Orb. You're going to want to get as much out of your little combos as you can. It sets up into a ton of strings. It has like range. It has everything. Orb, genuinely, or at least in my opinion, might be one of the best weapons in the game right now. At, at least A tier, minimum A tier, uh, or minimum high A tier, I should say. It's a very good weapon. I don't really know why people stop playing it, I'm gonna be honest. It's just, 
it's so solid, I'm gonna be honest. Next thing we're gonna hop straight into is the bounces that I was telling you about earlier. Or I guess kind of the RNG parts of the move, or a part of the weapon. I mean, it's not really RNG, because you can't control it. It's just very precise, I guess. Uh, most of the time when you're in an actual game, you won't be thinking too hard about like your D-Light placement, but you definitely should try. Uh, especially when you're playing on platform maps. Platform maps hurt Orb more than anything else in the game. Because if you got someone down here, and you're trying to hit him with a down air, it is very difficult to do that, because you have to be holding straight down for your orb to pass through. Which also means you're probably going to fall through. Uh, if you let go of the down air, like if you don't hold down the actual down button or key or stick, it's going to bounce off. If you hold it, it'll go through. Which kind of sucks, because you're going to have to time it absolutely perfectly to do something like that. Where you are on top of the platform and your orb passes through it, it is very difficult uh something i still have trouble with because obviously uh I, i'm just not an orb god but especially in games that's probably going to be very difficult and it'll probably hurt you a lot but as long as you're able to stay away from the platforms you should be good uh obviously when you're like once you've gotten past this beginner face since this is a basics guide you can probably practice that a bit more but as of right now especially if you're just starting out. Try and ignore this as much as possible, uh, just because it's very frustrating to deal with, but uh, definitely at least attempt to work it out. Maybe just practice doing the downers through the platform and landing on top, just to like kind of just improve yourself, because eventually you're gonna have to deal with it, you know? That's just kind of how the game works. Uh, you can go with something like this, where you down air uh, before you go over the platform, which isn't too bad of an idea, but in most situations that won't really work but yeah platforms are painful they're annoying to deal with they're frustrating but the best ways to use your wall bounces are well on the wall uh, <laughs> i think that's where they thrive the best it's because you can get like nice little edge guards going with that uh, on stage is also very good because you can set up into things like that and get some solid damage and strings out of it very good very good but in general, the bounces aren't as difficult as they look like when you're just starting out. They're just kind of they just kind of flow into the weapon pretty easily. Uh, you don't have to focus on them too much unless, of course, you're in that uh, platform situation. But other than that, the bounces just feel kind of natural. Uh, obviously, you can abuse them on the wall like this, kind of get a hitbox going around yourself. I just has Steed. <laughs> but uh, the bounces aren't too bad. The D-Light, though, is kind of tricky. Uh, I like to use it... Uh, just going straight over the person and leading into things like the Nair or the End Light. Pretty good, pretty good. I think D Light is probably the trickiest move to get your hands on, especially off stage. Off stage is where it gets the most like difficult to work with because if you want to send them down with that downward D Light hitbox, it's going to be difficult sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you're going to be sending them up, sometimes you're going to be helping them more than you're hurting them. And if you're not experienced with Orb, D-Light off stage will be difficult because sometimes you'll just jump straight over them. It's all about that placement, all about that like geometry, uh, as I like to say, because it's just it's a it's a very luck based thing when you're starting out. But eventually you'll make it not so luck based. Like if you're camping over the ledge like this, you can kind of go like that because if you, it's such a good reward, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going on a bit of a long rant here, but the reward for it is so good if you can hit that D-Light in the right spot. Because as you saw earlier, I hit the D-Light, and then I led it into a down air, which gave me more offstage, like, edge guarding capability. It's so good that it's worth learning how to use it, because it can just be so powerful if you use it right. Okay, final thing we're going to go over in the guide is neutral with orb. Because neutral, hard to learn with every weapon. It's kind of just like a process where you got to figure it out. Uh, but with orb, here's 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 basically my little tips. Uh, it's kind of the same as approaching, but not really. Uh, it's just approaching, which but sometimes you aren't approaching. Uh, if you're holding them back, I'd recommend uh, end lights. Just to, if they get too close, and light them off. Down airs, always good. You can just get stuff like that going. You can D light. I I think D light's pretty good if they're rushing you because you can just kind of jump over them, and also you have a chance of hitting them. Uh, side light, I wouldn't recommend using too often, or not side light, uh, side air, because it's very stun. 
It has a lot of stun on it. It's uh, kind of kind of kind of ridiculous how much stun it has on it. Cause like this, I'm mashing my buttons right here. That's how long it takes for me to throw out that nair after the side light, or after the cider. God, <laughs> words are difficult. But uh, yeah, if they're rushing at you, I recommend D light. If they're trying to approach you on the ground, or you're just trying to hold them back, down air. Uh, side cider or not side <laughs> side lights pretty good. I don't know why I'm struggling so much right now. Side lights pretty good. Uh, just kind of if you're getting in, D lights good if you're trying to get them away from you. Uh, down air is good if you're just kind of holding them off like this, just trying to get them away. And then if they're directly on top of you, hit that nice little end light, and you're good to go. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Because sometimes I'm not I'm not thorough enough in these uh, in these videos. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Pretty sure I already said that. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new. Or, or just want to see some more guides, see some more funny moments, see some more montages. I'm going to be dropping a montage very soon. That's pretty much it. Peace out.